What's up guys, my Panthers here and welcome to a team of the season ruddy squad builder and gameplay for the uh, the winnable, the unlockable team of the season ruddy card. Now he's actually got a fantastic card. If you apply an anchor to him, he gets plus 80 in every single stat. It's phenomenal. For some of you guys that can't afford some of the Incredibles in, in the Bundesliga or Germans or whatever, this guy is actually a really, really good alternative if you can win him, of course. 5 foot 10, medium, medium, 3 star, 3 star. He's just very, just very well-rounded. He's just a really well-rounded player. And I think a lot of you guys might actually enjoy using him. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to build a team to fit the specifications of the tournament. And then I'm going to show you my custom tactics, my player instructions, and we're going to go and get into some gameplay. And of course, because you can see him, you know that I've won him. In fact, if I hadn't won him, you wouldn't be watching the video because there'd be no video. So you know that I've won him for the video. Um, but I want to show you the team that I use. Now, I did use a really, really uh, sweaty, overpowered team. Actually, my silvers weren't so bad. So the situation... Um, the situation with the silver players, or the, the squad specifications, is that you are allowed a maximum of eight gold cards. So if you wanted to put five golds and six silvers on the main team and have three golds on the bench, that would be fine. Most people are likely to go eight golds on the main team with three silvers and then a bench full of bronze and silvers. So my, my three potential super subs will be Bakali, Serge Nabry and Schnatterer because this guy has actually got a very, very good card. Um, and then I've just got four random. I've got Bates on the bench. I thought I'd put him on. I thought less interesting because his name's Bates, but he looks like Cap Gun Tom. What are you going to do? Um, so the rest of the team, guys, the main team, I have gone for a Premier League team. Um, for me personally, I just uh, I like them better. I, I just really enjoy the, the EPL teams. I have got Courtois in net. What I'll do, guys, I'll go through the defence first, then the midfield, then the attack. Now, my defence is not something that you might usually, um, not something that you might usually expect to see in defence. I've got the SBC David Luiz. You may have seen him here or there, but I've also got the Inform Emre Chan in defence. So that is my two centre backs. You're probably thinking you're crazy. I'll explain. In a second, I will explain. In at right back, guys, I have got... Um, let's go for Premier League. In at right back, I've got Martina. Now, he's not the best. You can, There are a couple better right backs in the Premier League that are silver that you can get. Um, but he was somebody I already had in there. And I actually like the fact that he's six foot tall and has a medium attacking work rate. Most uh, fullbacks are high medium. So the fact he's medium medium would mean that his lack of pace would probably not be as damaging as it would be on someone with a high medium work rate. And his defending and physical for a silver card are actually pretty good. And then on the left hand side of the fence, we have got your man Chilwell. Um, I literally use this guy out of necessity. I didn't want, like, the two left backs that I wanted, Schlupp and uh, Zuniga, they're both extinct. So I couldn't, I couldn't even buy them if I wanted them and I haven't packed them. So I was like, okay, I need to use whatever I've got in my club and Chilwell was your man. Unlike, um, unlike Martina, he's high medium, but he does have 78 pace. So he actually goes to like 88 pace with the shadow on or maybe 89 pace but his defending and physical are horrendous which could uh, could have been problematic for me so why do i use these two in uh, defense guys well david Luiz on seven chemistry which is what he'll get as a center back has better defensive stats for a center back than most center backs in the division um his pace his defending his physical is exceptional he's six two yep he's got high medium work rates but from experience the work rates don't really seem to make that much difference. They do make some difference, and only really in the tight games. But they don't really seem to make that much difference. So we've got David Luiz there uh, coming in at centre back, and Emery Chan, much like David Luiz, he's just got a ridiculously good card. Medium, medium for Emery Chan, six two, four star weak foot. If you compare him on seven chemistry versus some of the centre backs that you actually use, he's probably got better stats than quite a lot of them. Um, with Shadow Card, he goes to like ninety pace and 94 defending I think even with just seven chemistry and then he's got the 88 physical and he's just an absolute monster so that is my defense and as per usual player instructions across the board are just stay back while attacking into the midfield my third and final silver player of his course going to be Fosu Mensah this guy might as well be a gold card 80 pace 71 defending and 78 physical shooting is bad but it doesn't matter we're not going to be shooting with him his dribbling isn't the greatest, but it's not like I'm going to be taking him on runs up and down the field. And his passing is pretty bad, and that is pretty bad. Um, for a silver card that's not even 74 rated, but 71 rated, 
The fact that the only detriment to the card in his position is the fact that his passing is a bit weak is really good. He's 6'3", medium, medium, four-star weak for fantastic. I paid 3.7k for this guy when I bought him. I wonder how much he goes for now. I bet he's extinct. Yeah, 10k, look at that. Could actually get 10k for him. I'm not going to, but uh, we could do. So Fosu Mensa is the first midfielder. And then the second midfielder, I think you guys are going to probably have a have an idea of who my midfielders are. Uh, they're going to be player of the year, Deli Ali, and player of the year, N'Golo Kante. Now, I've put an anchor on Kante. His stats are so ridiculous anyway. Medium high, 5'7". I'm not the biggest admirer of Kante in the game this year. I know a lot of people love him. He's a meta player. The pros use him. The top 100s use him. Streamers, YouTubers, they all love Kante. For me personally, I really like big midfielders. Um, but at 5'7", because I've got Fosu Mensa, who's coming in at 6'3", and because I've got this player, Dia Deli Ali, coming in at 6'2", I didn't mind having my third midfielder as a short midfielder because I've already got the two beasts in there. And this Deli Ali card is utterly utterly sensational also a shadow card on him boost that defending up boost that pace up i believe he gets like 85 defending or 86 defending after that goes in and this is just an absolutely tanky midfield now for my midfielders player instructions guys we set all three of them to stay back while attacking everything else is default and then for the attack you're probably going to be able to guess my attack based on players that you know that i like the first player that i'm putting into the team is my right forward and that's Hyung min son you might think, wow, Nev, you got a red card on him. I did. You'll see, you'll see it. You'll see it in the video. My left forward is, of course, going to be player of the year, Eden Hazard, because he is just ridiculous too. I don't even have so many games on him on this account. On my main account, nearly 1,200 games. And then last but not least, guys, the attacker could have been Ibrahimovic. I'm a big fan of Ibrahimovic in this game, but it's Lukaku. For me, he is just the best striker in the game that I enjoy using. He doesn't have four-star skill moves, but personally for me, I find him to just be one of the most well-rounded, complete dudes in the game. He wins every header, he's strong, he's fast, he can finish, he's agile. The only lack that he has is the fact that he doesn't have four-star skill moves. So with my attack, guys, when we go to the player instructions, stay central, get in behind, and press back line for all three of them. So that is the team that we're using, guys. And then the custom tactics that we're using are this. Everything is basically default. Except speed got moved up to 80. Um, I was just trying something here as well. So speed up to 80. I, I can't remember if I've changed crossing or shooting. You would have seen it. It's just a second ago. But I also remove, I moved pressure down to 50. And then we go defend the line to cover. I might, have, I might have messed with passing and crossing as well. I can't remember. But if you just rewind 10 seconds, you'll see it there. That, guys, is the team. Of course, it's an exceptional team. I expected to see some exceptional teams. What did we see? How did we play? Let's get into the action. Okay guys, into the gameplay we go. The first opponent we come up against has got a 4-4-2 team, 92 chemistry, 74 rated. Some good players in there, Sterling, Musa, his centre-backs are pretty decent, Van Arnholt, Herrera, even Pereira as well, and Butland. It's a, it's a decent Premier League team, but I was expecting to see better, I'm not going to lie. I thought the tryhards were going to be out. I might have been fortunate, I played this around 1 o'clock on Monday afternoon, I might have been just fortunate that... Um, you know, the tryhards hadn't got on yet, maybe they're not back from school or back from work, and, and I was just playing against some, some uh, essentially non-tryhards. Um, but the first game was was relatively easy. We got the first goal there with David Luiz. I should have scored with Lukaku, really bad uh, shot choice from me. Keeper saved it, I ended up scoring from the corner. I got really lucky there, I tried to feed that in with uh, Son to Lukaku. Ends up popping back to Hyung Min Son. I tell you something, dudes, if you haven't done this Hyung Min Son yet, Go and do him. The dude's a beast. So we get a 27-minute rage quit in game number one. And I was happy to move comfortably on to the second round. So 59% possession. My opponent only had one shot. And into the second round, we come up against a dude with a 175 team. Another really nice team. Martial, King, Musa, um, Kuyate and Adrissa Gay, Kante. Again, his defense is fantastic. Of course, he's got the bronze fullbacks, which was weird. And it's also strange that he's playing uh, Martial at uh, left wing at Cam. Like, convert him to a left forward, play him at strike on seven, Cam. Play your striker in at Cam and switch him if you want to. You get better out of it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for playing players off Cam. As you can see, I've got my two CDMs in centre back here. But I'm also all for playing players on a maximum Cam if there's an opportunity to do so. Like, if you're literally playing someone where you're playing them out of spite of Cam, that's a bit idiotic. I end up getting the first goal again with Hyung Min Son. The dude just does work for me. Against Jack Butland, it took me a while to get the first goal, and you'll see by the match stats, the game finished 1-0. 
I absolutely slaughtered this guy. I have never seen anything like some of the misses that I was putting in. His Butland 14 saves from the game. And there you go. I had 23 shots and 16 on target with 62 possession. He didn't have a single shot. And he tried the whole game. Fair play to him. He didn't give up. He didn't start sliding or play erratic. He didn't pause it or like play like a dick. He, he, was, he didn't put his control down. He tried his best for the whole 90 minutes, but he was unable to do anything. So 1-0, we move into the semi-final. We come up against a 182 squad. Actually, a quite nice squad. He's got a Silverfoot Champs player as well, which kind of said to me that this guy is uh, either a gold-level player that can't play too much or just a silver-level player. Which for me would have been nice. His team was very nice. And he started off the game and he started doing this quite a lot as well. Just loads of little step overs like this, just for no reason. And it, it would just it would just shield it in the corner and I start doing step overs and shield it in the corner and start doing step overs. So for me, as soon as I picked the ball up, I got possession. The first time I actually got possession of the ball, I managed to score. Hazard into Lukaku. Lukaku plays it out wide to Kante. Back into Lukaku, who drills that one home. That is why I love him, guys. He's just fantastic. He put that one in the back of the net, top right hand corner of the goals against another Jack Butland, would you believe? And it was actually a really, really tidy finish through the legs of the defender, past the goalkeeper, into the back of the net, and we go 1-0 up. And then into the second half, we managed... No, sorry, this is still the first half, 20 minutes in. Uh, Lukaku into Heung-Min Son. Son gets lucky again. He just creates that kind of AD touch in this game. Plays it off to Hazard, who drills that one home. And we get our second rage quit very early on. Game one was done after 20-something minutes. Game two is done after 20 minutes. And this guy also sent me abuse after the game. So, uh, cheers, I guess. Um, but that sent me through to the final, guys. So, 2-0 rage quit for this guy. I think it was actually, it might have been half time when he actually rage quit. I don't think it was straight after the game. Um, I will see when we go on to the next screen. So, it was... Um, oh, no, it was straight after the goal. So, I had two shots, scored two goals, 70% possession... And uh, as I say, happily moves swiftly on into the final. So three comfortable games into the final. And then into the final, we come up against a guy with stat cards on his silvers. A 180 team, a very nice team actually. Mertens, Quadrado, Ningolan, Pjanic, uh, Manalas, Dani Alves, Alexandro, Barzagli. I don't rate people that put silvers in goal. Even if you put an attributes card on a man. Silver goalkeepers are just horrendous, right? I just, I don't rate them at all. I find them to be very, very bad in this game. And um, I, I'm, I'm surprised, actually, that I've only seen attribute cards in the one game out of the four. And I'm also surprised that they're only on the silvers, because you can put them on all the players. Anyway, my opponent didn't even touch the ball before I'd scored in this game. From kickoff, great work through the midfield. Son again. He just, he's just unreal, guys. He's just unreal. Holds off the defender there, shields him, fake shots into the tiny bit of space, manages to get the shot away perfectly past the keeper, and puts me 1-0 up in the final, which of course I was happy with. Look at this as well, shields off the one defender, fake shots into the space, and low drives that past the keeper. It's just magnificent. And then 10, 15 minutes later, Eden Hazard here, Pops this one out to Hyung Min Son. The guy bites with his defender, scoop around him, gets the space. He's so worried about the cutback to Hazard, he lets me just run in. And then there is Hyung Min Son again to pop that one into the back of the net. Now, I made this game quite difficult by accident twice. Um, after I scored that goal on a stroke of half time, I end up getting an attack here. I try and have a shot with Son. I thought I saw the ref put his whistle to his mouth, so I slid because I thought oh, it's half time. Let me slide, get this guy, you know, take him out as a half time whistle goes. Wasn't half time. Got a red card with Hyung Min Son late into the game. I was still controlling the game. Uh, you know, I was still creating chances. I was still having the better of the possession and the better of the chances. But my opponent does get a goal back here with Dries Mertens. Slots that one home in the 82nd minute, and I'm thinking, okay, here we go. But I held out for the next 10 minutes. Deep into injury time, I get a free kick. Right, he's, he's get, he got angry. He had an attack. He lost possession. As I'm trying to counter him, he got angry and fouled me at where he, where we are. Thought, let me just pass this back to my keeper and then punt it clear. David Luiz, literally, like he, he passed the ball about a yard out, and this guy panicked. He just panicked so hard and blew his chance of getting back into the game in the most unfashionable circumstance. However, I held on by the skin of my teeth. There is unbelievable, and we end up getting the thousand coins and the ruddy special card. It's a really good card. We looked at it a little bit at the start of the video. As you'll see, my my Timo Courtois made no saves. His keeper made seven saves. That silver keeper that I said would be trash. 
Um, but I, I generally just dominated the game and I would have been upset if I had gone to extra time. I probably still would have won the game, to be fair, because I, I was in control even with 10 men from half time. But we end up getting ourselves the ruddy card and um, he's going to just sit in my in, in this club, because this is my main account, this isn't my Road to Glory account, he's just going to sit in the in the club now and do nothing for the rest of FIFA ever, most probably. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.